Hello and thank you for watching. In this video I would like to demonstrate to you DesignX 2016. I have used it to create a surface model and in this video I highlight some of the tools and processes that I used to create that model. Starting with a blank DesignX file, head to the Home tab and choose Live Scan. From there, select your device. You need to press connect but you'll see the button is still greyed out. Click Next Stage in the Live Scan tool. Check that your feature type is a mesh and point cloud, and then the button will be green. Check out your scanner options. Choose different sampling rate, and max point distance. Hit OK, then hit the green button. Here you see me using our Roma 7535SI arm to scan our Leica 18901 laser tracker system. Live scan in DesignX 2016 is fantastic as it allows for a live preview which shows me where I need to scan next. It also lets me scan and then model inside the same package which I think is a, a great time saver as you don't have to then transfer the, the point cloud information between software. This saves time and stops any mistranslation during the import export process that can happen between softwares. Once I had captured my scan, I used the Mesh Builder wizard in the Points tab. I selected all my scans and I set my scanner type, hit Next Stage. Then I set my count for the per noisy clusters, hit Find and then Delete. It's at this stage that I decided to trim away any other outliers that I might have had, using the different selection tools that Geomagic offers such as Paintbrush and Rectangle. This made it really easy to select the points that I wanted to delete. Take some time to clean up your point cloud data. The pre-aligning and the best fit aligning wizard allow you to move certain scans into alignment with the rest of the model. Next is the data merging wizard. Here you extend the boundaries to fill your holes, set uh, the definition of your filters, how much noise reduction you want, and then hit accept. This will then generate for you a mesh. Sometimes the meshes aren't perfect, you can get holes, uh, especially in areas where you might not have been able to scan, such as behind this handle. To fill the holes, I head to the Polygons tab and the Fill Holes tool. There, you can select Boundaries and its Editing Tools. I'll be choosing the Bridge option, and in Method, I select Curvature. In Editing Tools, I select the Bridge option, as this allows me to bridge the gap between these two edges and thus maintain the curve. That way when I fill in the boundaries, it keeps the curve of the handle in the, in the newly generated model. Another great feature is the global remesh feature. It recalculates the entire mesh and improves the mesh quality Next, I use the Smooth feature. It increases the smoothness of the entire mesh and all the selected polyfaces. It has an effect similar to noise reduction. Next, I use the Patch Network feature. The Patch Network feature automatically detects and extracts feature curves from the mesh. You just have to set your curvature sensitivity and your separator sensitivity. Play around with those to get your best setting. As you can see, it's already detected some of the features on the TCAM. It's automatically generated some curves on the mesh. These curves seem to go in where the software detects a high degree of curvature. What we can do is use the paintbrush tool to edit uh, and basically paint where we want our contour, contour curves to go in. So by holding down Alt, you can actually change the size of the brush and then you just paint, it, paint along the edges. By turning on the preview, it allows you to 
uh, see in real time the curves that it's created along those features that you've painted. As you can see, Extract Contour Curves did not detect every contour on my model. So I used the Spline on Mesh tool to define some of my own curves and to create a really good curve network. Here I used the Merge tool by selecting both of the curves and then hitting OK, it joins them and makes them into one curve. Once I was happy with my curve network, it was time to use the Construct Patch Network tool to construct a patch network. Patch networks are prerequisites for NURB surfaces. Here you can see me setting the number of interp points on, on our curve network to 20. Interp points are the number of points on a curve which allow you to change its shape. After running the Construct Patch Network tool, it's constructed a patch network across the model. I use the Smooth tool to smooth the uh, network to make it a little bit more uniform. Finally, I use the Fit Surface Patches tool. I select the mesh curve, I set the fitting method, and the fitting options. Then I hit OK. Over in the model bar on the left, if you turn off the meshes, you can see the actual surface itself. I had a few missing faces in my model. It was possible to use the Fill Face tool and select the edges to fill in the missing face. That's really useful. Overall, DesignX 2016 is a great all-in-one package for scanning and reverse engineering surface models and solid body CAD models. If you have any questions or you would like to see more DesignX 2016 videos, then please like this video and leave a comment below. This has been a video by PES Metrology. For inspection, alignment, scanning, reverse engineering, 3D printing or instrument hire, visit PESmetrology.com today.